we'd love for you to try this chutney out. So visit chutneyfy.com to order today. Chutney is not just a condiment, but an emotion you feel. I'm Rakesh Raghunathan and I have set out on a journey to find such chutneys and bring them to the forefront. I present to you a food discovery show where it's not about you watching. Instead, we are discovering it, getting the recipes from the source, recreating it, and with Chutneyfy, bringing it out for you and the world to enjoy. Welcome to the Great Indian Chutney Hunt. Karnataka, a state in southwestern India, has a rich and diverse culinary history that reflects its cultural heritage and geographical location. Food historian and author Kaveri Ponnappa, a custodian of the Kodava cuisine, has spent a lifetime researching, documenting and preserving heirloom recipes. And she says there is still a long way to go. You have been documenting the cuisine of Kurk. I would love to know that journey. It just comes down to the backstory of how I grew up. My grandmother had a traditional wood-fired kitchen. Wow. I was very curious about how the wood fire was controlled. The masalas would be ground for the day and the chutneys for the day would be ground. I think for me it was really curiosity about ingredients and activities. So tell me about some nostalgic memories that you have being in the kitchen. There was a large grinding stone which was fixed into a platform and my grandmother had a girl who helped her young very uh, strong young woman actually mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. to manage that you've <laughs> got to be really strong. I think I was amongst the, one of the few grandchildren who was actually interested in this process. This girl was terrified mm. because she said, you know, if this falls on your finger, I'll be finished. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a huge big stone. <laughs> I'm curious to know what are the different kinds of other chutneys across uh, Karnataka? Karnataka is a fantastically diverse state, as you know. So if we start from the north, which is part of the Deccan Plateau, it's extremely hot. And you find that they grow a lot of oil seeds, lots of chilies. You have the famous Ranjika chutney, which is made with a copious amount of fresh red chilies. Wow! Very, very uh, spicy, refreshing, eaten with jawar rotis. When you travel southwards and go west to coastal Karnataka, you have Hariva chutney, which is made with fresh, tender amaranth leaves. Mm. Then when you go across to the plains of uh, Mysore and Hassan and uh, Mandya, here you have an interesting chutney called uh, Gonduhara, mm. which is, uh, you know, again, a lot of red chilies. My mouth is salivating. <laughs> I would love for you to pick a chutney and teach me how to make that today. So what I'm making for you today is a uh, very simple rustic chutney mm -hmm. called Ullipaji. We toast sesame seeds and then we grind it up with a little bit of coconut, tamarind, jaggery, mm. green chilies. But the green chilies and onions are roasted. Ah. We skewer them and we roast them and so you get a slightly smoky flavour. And this is a much loved breakfast chutney in court. It's eaten with acutis. Lovely. You can use husked or unhusked okay. sesame, it's okay. your choice. So basically, I'm just going to give it a light roast. It's, it's very interesting for me to watch this. Is this something that is always used for uh, roasting and toasting? Well, in my experience, this is what I've seen ah. my grandmother use. So, and the beauty about this amical is you monitor the consistency the way You're you want absolutely it. Absolutely right, Rakesh. So, I'm just putting a little bit of powdered jaggery. Okay. Uh, this is entirely to taste. Huh. A little bit of coconut. Kaveri, even when you were making this, when you were toasting the sesame seeds, the entire kitchen was so fragrant. And I can't wait to dig into that. Go right ahead. Yes, and with freshly made Aki Oti. <laughs> This is just phenomenal. There's a nutty edge 
Yes. But the sesame adds, there's that uh, nice flavor of coconut. There's a tang from the tamarind. There's this little bit of sweetness from the jaggery and the smoked chilies and uh, onions, the shallots. This is a flavor bomb. I'm so glad to hear you hear, see this because you've hit on every single flavor. <laughs> it's wonderful to hear that. It's been an absolute pleasure just talking to you, being in your space, taking in the space and watching you craft this chutney, if I can put it that way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kaveri. And I can't wait to chutneyfy this. You use the entire machinery. the toast panni, the ingredients add panni Should I check the consistency now? Please. Perfect. And taste. When Miss Kaveri made it for me, what I thought was very interesting was first the way she roasted the sesame mm. seeds. Then the other, the smaller nuances that she added to it which is roasting the shallots, roasting the green chilies, roasting the red chilies also and just grinding it into a beautiful texture. I think you've cracked it like that. So now let's chutneyfy this. Sure. Yeah. What I like about this Rajesh, the coarseness. Correct, you know, tanni le the mix pan abul correct arko and the tadka. You know, Amgur she said the tadka is very very important and I like the way. How how do you do this dry tadka? Actually, naang englo da process le, either separate pani ko, tadka va separate pani ko. Okay, if you add a water, you can feel the freshness of tadka. Got it. That this oil will sort of release and exactly. the flavors will come. Exactly. Through. Nice. So shall I add some water yes, to this? Yes, please, please. Nalla oru creamy consistency, very very nice. It really takes me back to her kitchen because you know that that nuttiness of the the sesame, sesame seeds sesame oil. and uh, also that the shallots, the chinna mangai, the the kanja malaga, green chilies, all that she roasted on the flame adds to this and that little bit of. Uh, Sourness from the tamarind and also the jaggery balances beautifully. Very, very nicely done. Sure. So, I will see you in the next episode of Chutneyfy India. We have been savoring and chutneyfying chutneys from across South India. And we'd love for you to try this chutney out. So, visit chutneyfy.com to order today. <laughs>